I'm Gary with Gary Sprinkler Repair Service, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Hunter X2 timer with Wi-Fi capability. So, let's get started. Um, let's move here to set date and time. The buttons are plus, minus, program button, and back and forward. So, whatever's blinking, we can change with plus or minus. And when we're done, we hit the forward arrow and we'll move forward to the next thing. So you can see date and time, right? So it's just showing the year. That's not correct, so I need to go to 2023. Hit the up twice. Now it's 2023, hit the right arrow, make the month blink, and it shows calendar months. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And so now you can see on the screen, it says months one through 12, and it says it's currently blinking saying it's July. Well, it's not. It's the springtime here, so it's March, so I'll go minus. Go down to March, third month of the year, done. Go forward, day blinks. One through 31 days on a calendar page. To change that to the correct day, today is the third of March. Let's just go forward and get to the end of March and go right around and come back around. There we go. Should say it's Friday, that's correct, that's what day it is. Go forward again. AM or PM, it's now PM, so that's correct. If it wasn't, plus or minus would change that. If you see the number 24 pop up, that's military time. If you don't want that, make sure it says AM or PM. Go forward, plus or minus is going to change the hour. The time now is, that is correct, it is 12 o'clock, and the minutes, it is 12.06. So I'm gonna use the arrow over, make the minutes blink, and move them down with plus or minus to six minutes. Hit it again, we're back to the air. So we're done here. Now let's go to start. This is what time the system's gonna kick on. So I'm gonna hit the plus sign, it says 6 a.m., done. If I wanted a second time for it to kick on in the evening, I'd go forward and I can come off as the, is midnight. So I could come down from midnight and set like a 9 p.m. at night. I went too far, hit the plus, go back up. So if I go back, it's set to come on at 6 in the morning and 9 at night. To get rid of that guy in the fall, or if you don't need it in the springtime, you can come here and hold the plus sign down at night to go up to midnight, and there it goes. It's going to go away. So now it just goes off at 6 in the morning in the springtime or in the fall. We're done there. Let's go down to the actual stations, the two drip systems on our property, the front yard and backyard. Station number one is the front drip. We're gonna have that run for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold down the plus sign, put in 20 minutes, went too far, hit the minus, go forward to the second zone, hold it down with a plus sign to go to 20 minutes, went too far, back up, I'm at 20 minutes. There's no station three or four. The total run time's 40 minutes for that program. That's the letter A, by the way. And we're back to station one. Days of the week. It's gonna blink on Monday, so you know where you're at. So if you wanna change it, you can. And we're looking at, um, I'm gonna go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. So I'm gonna go plus to keep Monday. It now moves to Tuesday. I'm gonna hit minus. It moves to Wednesday. I'm gonna hit plus. I'm gonna get rid of Thursday that it's on. Hit minus. Keep Friday, hit plus. Get rid of Saturday, hit minus, and keep Sunday, hit plus. Now, if you ever accidentally get over here to Sunday and you hit the right arrow by accident, there's how you set even days or odd days. So there's your odd, there's your even ones over here. You can see odd or even, you can set them. This is also increments. So you can set it to water every one day, every three days, every four days, however you want. So if that doesn't work with odd or even, you can set it to go every second day, whether it's an odd or even day. If you get here and you don't wanna be here, hit the back button and we're gonna get out of there and get back over to Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. To change that, if I leave and I had it run, I can come back down if it's getting warm and I wanna add more days, it'll be blinking on Monday. I can use the arrow to go over to let's say Thursday, use the plus sign and put it in and now I have Thursday on as well. To get rid of that, I can just back up and get rid of it again with minus. All right, let's go over here to seasonal adjust. This typically is going to do 100% of what we told it to do. So it'll do 100% of 20 minutes. But let's say it's supposed to be super hot for a few days and then cool back down. 
I can come over here. Normally it would do 100%. I can change that to like 125, 130, 140, 150%, whatever I want. Put it back to run. And now it's gonna change those 20 minute run times from 100%, it'll keep that and then add 50% longer runtime to each one of those two zones. It did it for number one and number two. A couple days later, it goes back to normal weather. I can come back down here and take it back to 100%. And as you can see, I can go the other way in the fall, but I want 100%, so I'm using plus or minus. And if I go back to run and come back down, they're back to their original 20 minute run times for each one. That's what that season of justice for pump. We live out in the country, you need to have that on. So it'll use that master valve wire that we're just using the common. We're on city water, so we're gonna make sure this is turned off manual. This is to run a zone. So let's say you just wanted to run zone number one. You let it come here, you let it blink a few times, put it in run. Sprinkler icon is gonna pop up here and it says in the A program, station number one is currently running for 20 minutes and there's a sprinkler telling you it's on and it's running. If I don't touch this timer again, I go back in the house, close the door on the timer, it's just gonna run station one and shut off, not number two. So I'm gonna show you another way. So let's turn it off. When it quits blinking, it is off. So if I wanted to run, let's say number two and not number one, I come here, go over to number two, let it blink a few times, put it to run, now the sprinkler icon kicks on and it says you got 20 minutes and it's going to start counting down and it's going to, it's now kicking on station number two and when it's done it will just run station two and shut off be ready to go back to its normal date and time so for now i'm going to shut it off so i'm just showing you how to use that it's actually off put it back to run now let's say you wanted to run both number one and number two you go to the right arrow you hold it down and as soon as you see that screen change for A1, 20 minutes, let it go. Sprinkler's popping up in the corner, as you can see. So it's now running the whole program in manual. So this is manual one at a time, and it shuts off. Or hold that down with it in the run position, and it will manually, when it goes to this A1, 20 minutes in the sprinkler, it's now going to run number one for 20 minutes, shut off and then go to number two and run that for 20 minutes and then shut off. That's it. Pretty simple, right? Pretty nice timer.